So today we're continuing our 12 milkshake stouts of Christmas. If you watched the last video, you could see I had to do this in two parts. Six was enough to get you there. Normally we chug one of these things, wait 15 minutes, breathalyze all the way to 0.08. We're gonna do that, except we're gonna go through all six. If it's anything like last time, I'm gonna be well over 0.08. Let's see how many milkshake stouts it takes to hit 0.08, part two. Hey everybody, how you doing? Alright, so our first milkshake stout of the day is Imperial Chocolate Cheesecake. So this is ale brewed with milk sugars and cocoa nibs. Once again, we've, we've got more nibs. Beer for dessert? Why not? Chocolate notes are more prominent than those found in the original milkshake stout. Mingling with rich, velvety cheesecake. I mean, that sounds pretty tasty. Oh, 7.5% alcohol to volume, so we're starting off with a banger. All right, let's see how uh, this one tastes. I'm not gonna let it do what it did last time where it just started overflowing. Not on my watch. Ooh. What? And that's 7.5. Doesn't taste strong like a 7.5-er. I'm enjoying all of these, so thank you. All right, you know how this works. Let's chug this thing and get this party started. Let's give it 15 minutes. 0.019. That's surprisingly low compared to where we were last time. I don't know if it's because I ate a pretty heavy dinner tonight or what. All right, so we're on to the next milkshake stout, which is peanut butter cup. This one's 5.5%. Doesn't really have uh, any other stats. Stout brewed with peanuts, milk sugars, and cocoa nibs. So again, all of these are 16 ounces. Don't be surprised if I get there a little faster. Keep that in mind, extra four ounces. Ooh, yum. Fifteen minutes. All right, here we go. 0.036. All right, so now uh, where were we last time? After two, we're at 045. I guess a hearty dinner made a difference. So I guess that means we're on to the next, which is cookies and cream. It says brewed with milk sugars, lactose, and cocoa nibs. Uh, it's 5.2% alcohol to volume. You can see some Oreos. I love Oreos. That's a good pour. It's not like that disaster pour that got all over the counter last time. Fingers crossed I'm three for three for not getting a messy counter. So let's let's keep that trend going, please. I mean, it smells like Oreos. That's good. Cookies and cream. All right, see you in 15. Let's see where we're at. 0.051. What song is this? All right, so the next stout we're gonna have is Raspberry Milkshake Stout. Stout brewed with milk sugars, raspberries, and cocoa nibs. It's 5.2% alcohol to volume. It's got some raspberry sniffs to it. It tastes like a raspberry. It absolutely so. This actually, this uh, oh, there's that slur. So this one absolutely tastes like a raspberry. I don't typically like super sweet, but this isn't bad. Rochester Mills, I'm gonna give it to you. If anybody hasn't been to Rochester Mills, y'all need to go. Fifteen. So I don't know if y'all noticed, but my friend over here no longer has the creepy eyes. You're welcome. Because he's just been creeping me out. I've been sitting out here in the living room, and you know what? I go and I hang it out, and there's creepy eyes. So I put some sunglasses on him, make him look like cool Santa. It's been 15 minutes. 0.064. This isn't bad. I could do, I'm doing all right. Where was I last time? Oh, I was already, I was at 0.08 last time. On that note, we're on to the next beer, which is Death by Chocolate, which I'm not gonna lie, I love me some Death by Chocolate. That's probably one of my favorite desserts. Stout brewed with milk, sugars, chocolate, and cocoa nibs. Oh, they're back to the nibs. It's only 5.5%. I thought something called Death by Chocolate, you would have been like 15%, like let's kill somebody. Is there any other fun little niblets? No, there's not. Look at that pour. That's a perfect pour. Oh, but that smells good. 
That's pretty tasty. This is a sure tell sign that I'm getting a little buzzy. My eyes get a little squinty. That's gonna get put on the bingo card. Carl gets squinty eyes. <laughs> what else should be on my bingo card? Carl spills on the counter. Taco makes an appearance. Carl starts to slur. And who's playing bingo? All right, 15 minutes. 0.094, oh man, that was a jump. Well, we're on to the last beer. I'm past 0.09, or I'm 0.09. I'm past 0.08. Creepy Santa over here is still doing his thing. All right, so we're on to the last beer, which is Triple Shake Milk Shake, <laughs> Milk, Triple Shake Milkshake Stout. Man, say that five times fast. Triple Shake Milkshake Stout. Now I sound like Daffy Duck. I'm either Kermit the Frog or Daffy Duck. I don't know. I gotta you pick one. This one, uh, oh Jesus. I was gonna look at the stats, but now I'm scared. This one's 9.5%. Awesome. It says Imperial Milkshake Stout. Ale brewed with milk, sugars, and cocoa nibs. More nibs. It's always nibs. What's this? Be brave. Be bold. It's good to be the king. That makes me think of Mel Brooks and the history of the world. Adam Thompson, you and I used to watch that shit. There's your call out, brother. You're famous now. It's good to be the king. So this is two Fridays in a row where like, Carl's just here hanging out with this creepy guy. Oh, I'm doing fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, we're fine, we're fine, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm scared. It's nine and a half percent and I'm already at nine and a half percent drunk. Oh boy, I mean, that's tasty. Anybody that's just drinking a bunch of these, it's dangerous. There's a slur again, oh boy. I, I don't, I don't want to chug this one. The cat's just shouting at the beer like, hey, what are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. All right, let's chug this thing, let's do it. Let's do this, I got this, you got this, I got this, I got this. Nope, I don't got this. Oh God bless America. I might throw up after this one. The second Four loco video, Craig vomited, so there was that. If he only had two Four locos, he was goose cooked. All right, 15 minutes, let's do this. 0.097, that was not where I thought I was gonna, I thought I was gonna be like. <whistles> All right, so what do we learn today, people? Six of these milkshake stouts get me to a little over 0.08, but you gotta have a hearty breakfast and a hearty lunch and a hearty dinner. I also learned that Rochester Mills, they got the 12 stouts at Christmas. They're the 12 delicious stouts at Christmas. Rochester Mills, you're 12 for 12. What? 12 stouts at Christmas, all 12 are fantastic. I love it. With that said, I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and I will see you next year. Cheers.